Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. An earthquake occurred in Karim province in Western Armenia. Russia will continue its efforts to implementation of trilateral agreements. Putin and Macron discussed the Artsakh issue. The statements of the Security Council of Armenia contradict the constitution. Arman Tatoyan. Azerbaijan is destroyed cemeteries in the villages of Sakhnagh and Hin Tagher. 15 million year old fossils have been discovered in Samosat of Western Armenia. The mission of the Armenian Dersim, the 15th Shakespeare International Theatre Festival has started in Yerevan. According to the website of Ministry of Emergency Situation, an earthquake of magnitude 3.5 occurred in Ashkale province of Karim province of Western Armenia. The epicenter of the earthquake was located at a depth of 7 km from the earth. There are no casualties or wounded. Russian President Vladimir Putin and French President Emmanuel Macron had a long telephone conversation, the Kremlin's press service reports. Among the various issues on the international agenda, the president also discussed the Artsakh issue. The settlement of the Artsakh conflict was discussed. As Vladimir Putin noted, Russia will continue to take steps that will contribute to the stabilization of the situation and a consistent implementation of the trilateral agreement reached through Russian mediation, the Kremlin's press service reports. The statement of the Armenian Security Council regarding the Goris Kapan and Kampan Chakatan roads violate the constitution of Armenia and human rights recognized by the international community. This is stated in the statement of the Armenian Ombudsman Arman Tatoyan. The statement of the Security Council concerns unspecified maps of USSR. On this basis, it is argued that the sections of these roads are not located on the territory of the Republic of Armenia. Further, their statement said about the creation of the network of alternative roads, which in fact allows the Azerbaijan side to control these roads. Read the full material on our official website. Azerbaijan has destroyed cemeteries in the villages of Sakhnagh in the Askeran region and Hintagar in the Hadrut region. This was stated by the Armenian ambassador to Greece, Tigran Makarchan. Many people were interested in why after November 9, some Armenian families dug graves in order to transport the remains of their loved ones from Azerbaijani control areas. With its actions, Baku has shown why. And this is a barbarism that continues, the ambassador wrote on Twitter. Earlier it became known that the Azerbaijan has destroyed the Armenian church of St. Astvatsatsin in Mehakavan. According to the National UNESCO Commission of Armenia, the Armenian church was completely destroyed after it came under the control of Azerbaijanis. The same church was subjected to the latest military aggression of vandalism. In early March, it became known that the Azerbaijanis partially destroyed the Kanajram church in Shushi and destroyed the monument of Hovhannes Tevosyan. In addition, during the war, the Gazan Chesos church in Shushi was shelled twice. Later, the Azerbaijanis, under the pretext of the restoring the church removed the bells from there. Western Armenia with such barbarities inherits the Turks and Azeris once again strictly condemns and recalls that a Turkish state did the same with the historical and cultural heritage of Western Armenia. The stone discovered by a young man in Western Armenia in the province of Samosat, as it turned out, our rock 40 million years old. During the wall, a citizen accidentally noticed four stones of different buildings and handed them to the Samosat Museum, from where they were sent to appropriate examination. The museum expert during the first examination found out that the discovered stones are Seagull Core Sea creatures from Numilitis group, belonging to the Eozen epoch of having 40 million year old origin. The massacre initiated by the Hamid Ottoman regiments in 1894 continued in the Dersim district of Western Armenia and caused more massacres for it were a more severe consequence in 1915, which this time were initiated by the alliance of the policy of deportation and assimilation. The ongoing policy on genocide, cultural assimilation, which continues to this day after the pogroms of 1937 and 1938, caused damage to Dersim. Along with the physical destruction of the indigenous Armenian people, all kinds of interference was undertaken in their culture face, custom and tradition, which brought the Armenian identity to the extent of its denial. The Armenian Dersim platform has opened the field for the struggle for the survival and preservation of the cultural and identity of the indigenous people of Dersim, who were tried to eradicate by the above-mentioned policy. As Dersim Armenians and their friends, we decided to rally around the Dersim Armenian platform and become one body. Our goal is to strengthen ties with the Armenians of Western Armenia scattered all over the world and our brothers 
relatives and friends living in Dersim, as well as cultural activities to freely live in Dersim of ethnic Armenian identity and culture, to create projects for economically contributing to Dersim. On November 15, 2021, the Yerevan International Shakespeare Theatre Festival started, which gathered theatre troops from around the world. Famous works of Shakespeare with various commentaries will be shown at the festival. At a meeting with journalist festival director Karo Balian said that for 15th time they are trying to promote the development of cultural life through the festival. He said that due to the academic situation, several European theatres were unable to participate in this festival. It should be noted that the Shakespeare International Theatre Festival is a member of the network of the famous European Shakespeare Festivals. Since 2016, the director of the festival, Karo Balian, the founder of the festival, is the chairman of the Union of Theoretical Figures of Armenia, Hakob Kazanchen. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song, Ernak Ernak. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.